In May, we decided to make a trip in south of France with my family. It was a special trip, as this was supposed to be the first travel of our son. And despite everything, we still decided to do this travel. So, we headed to Nice by plane, which was convenient, as they are direct flights from Strasbourg. Once landed in Nice, we picked our luggage, our rental car, and headed to our accommodation in Nice, as it was already quite late. The next day, we decided to visit Monaco, and on the way back, stop in Aise, one of the nicest villages of the region. The hotel we stayed at was simple, but really nice. After enjoying a breakfast in family, we got ready and hopped on the car to head to Monaco, which was a new country for us. That day, the weather wasn't too cooperative, at least at the beginning. And that's why people do come in south of France for the lovely weather. Once arrived in Monaco, we parked near the old port. From there, we started exploring Monaco. What we didn't know was that the Formula 1 race was taking place the coming week. So the city was under a massive transformation to be ready for the event. We slowly headed up toward the Rock of Monaco. Along the way, we found a nice viewpoint, with a frame and some greeneries. It was the perfect spot for a picture. We kept on until the Rock of Monaco, which was the old town of the city. It's a small area to visit, with some cute little streets, churches and boutiques. At the end of it, we arrived at the Prince Palace of Monaco, which featured another stunning viewpoint, and the palace itself. However, we didn't visit it, but we saw the change of the guards. From there, we kept walking around the Rock of Monaco, popped by the Cathedral of Monaco, then the Saint Martin Garden, You wanna do it again? Yeah. <laughs> it was super cool. It's cold, it's rainy, it's windy. <laughs> and near people said it's always nice in south of France. <laughs> You're in Monaco. In Monaco, it's also France. And as the weather wasn't too great, we decided to visit the Oceanographic Museum, which was right next to the garden. The museum wasn't too big, but it was nice and educational and even fun sometimes. Once out of the museum, we headed back to the port where we had lunch. The restaurant we went to was beautiful and the food delicious. In the afternoon, we went to the Fontvieille district where the Princess Grace Rose Garden is located. Funny thing is that just parking in a public parking can be an attraction in Monaco. Never saw so many luxurious cars in the same parking. The Fontvieille district and especially the Rose Garden were beautiful. To end our time in Monaco, we drove on some portions of the Formula 1 racetrack and passed the famous casino of Monte Carlo, as well as one of the most famous Formula 1 tunnel. And finally, we headed back toward Nice. Along the way, we stopped in a super cute village named Ez. Ez was breathtaking. It was such a beautiful place to visit. Upon arriving, you right away feel the good vibes of the place, with its cobbled streets, old buildings and cute boutiques. There, we just tore around, stopped at some boutiques.
and headed to the top of the village, where a magnificent garden was located. We were unsure to visit the garden as it wasn't free, but in the end it was so worth it. Once out of the garden, we headed out of Hayes and drove back to our hotel. In the evening, we went out for dinner, and then rested, as the next day the adventures continue with the exploration of Nice.